Today, Mike discusses the importance of outros. Wait, what? Intros are what's important. I'm important. You guys love me, right? I mean, without intros, how is anyone supposed to know what they're talking about? Pfft, outros. This episode is brought to you by Game On Snacks. Jerky that's changing the game. Enter the promo code FREEDOM at checkout for 5% off all orders. What is up everyone, my name is Jesse Mike. Last week we talked about the importance of thumbnails and today we're going to discuss outro slates. Notice I skipped intros entirely. Although they can look fancy and look cool and make you feel important, intros actually up the chances of viewers clicking off your video. YouTubers typically have a really small attention span and are heavily influence within the first five seconds of watching your video. Imagine clicking through the channels on your TV. What makes you stop? Something that catches your eye, right? Either something funny happens, you see someone you recognize, or something just simply looks really cool. Same goes for YouTube. If you have a generic intro that has nothing to do with your channel, chances are I'm not gonna watch it. And same goes for most viewers out there. Also another thing to note, if your intro completely repeats what your title says, then you're just repeating yourself to your viewers, and chances are your viewers are gonna get annoyed and not wanna watch. However, if you use an intro for what it's for, introducing the viewer to your video, then you could probably keep your viewer around. But make sure it's relevant and make sure it actually has something to do with your video. If it's just a fancy 3D animation that flips around and says your name with dubstep in the background, it's not really doing you justice. But if it highlights the episode and what it's going to be about in under 10 seconds, preferably about 5 seconds if not even shorter, then you're doing a good job and you're going to keep your viewer around. Now on to something that is always important. Outro slates. Outro slates can only help your channel. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do, all it can do is help. Unless it's just too long. Keep in mind YouTube is all about watch time, so if half your video is an outro slate, chances are people click off right as soon as the outro slate happens, and you're already nixing yourself 50% of watch time, and that sucks for your channel. Now having said that, if you have a longer video with about a 10 second outro or less, then it's only gonna impact your channel in a positive manner. Outro slates help redirect your viewers to where you want them to go. Do you want to advertise your last video or another channel, your social medias, or even your merchandise store? You can use this to help redirect your viewers to that site or to that page or to that video. The longer your viewers are staying on your channel, the more views you're going to get and the more successful your channel is going to be. Now going back to watch time, you need to figure out a way to keep your viewers through your outro slate. Even if it's only a small percentage, it can still help your channel as an overall. For instance, our viewers often comment that they love our outro song and that sometimes they even sing along with it. So this means that they watch the whole outro to listen to the whole song. We also do things like feature people's comments to show the viewers that we care and people will often stay around to see if they're featured and not only that but it encourages commenting. And other people for instance like Shay Carl talk throughout their outro and put hidden messages in there to keep their viewers throughout the whole outro slate. So you need to think of a way to use your outro slate to be interactive and help keep your viewers throughout the whole outro. Lastly and quite important a call to action. Whether it's in your outro or before viewers are much more likely to do what you want if you simply ask them. So ask your viewers to subscribe, follow you on your social medias, or whatever you want them to do for that particular video. Just don't overdo it and overwhelm your viewer with so many different commands. Do this, do that, do this, do that, do this, do that, and that, and this, and that, and stuff. Keep it easy, keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid stuff, and things. Just think, if you don't tell your viewer what you want from them, how can you expect them to do what you want if they don't know what you want them to do? So come up with a creative call to action that you can add to your videos to help influence your viewers to do what you want. Anyways guys, that's it for me today and it's time for my call to action. If you want to see more of me, you can click the playlist in the sidebar. Is that the right side? Maybe? No? Right side? Side. Crap! If you want to see more of me, you can click the playlist in the sidebar and see all of my tips or tricks, or you can find me on my personal channel. The link will be down in the description below, or you can click the video in the end slate. But anyways, guys, we'll see you next week. See ya. So this is the outro, huh? Wow. You know, I take it back. This all does seem very important, and it's kind of relaxing here. Thanks for watching. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.